It's Sunday, you pagans. So I thought we should go to church. So that there is the Munster St. Vitus, otherwise known as the Mönchengladbach Munster. It was built somewhere around 974 as a Munster for some Benedictine uh, monks. So it's a, uh, I believe, Roman Catholic related. Impressive architecture. doors and the little details. It's really pretty up there. Really cool is there appear to be some gargoyles up there on that uh, end piece. We got really lucky. It's beautiful weather here today. We do not often have weather like this.
gargoyles up there. So yeah, the purpose of the video today was get me out of the house. I haven't been feeling great lately. So I use these little chances to get out, make a stupid little video with my stupid little face. But this is actually one of my favorite streets in this town because it's got like a, kind of a Middle Ages feel to it. You know, the cobblestone and it's lit on a hill. That's some sort of government building and behind that is the Munster we were just at. So yeah, another cold, cool old building built in uh, around the 1600s. It's now being used as a local government office, like where you would go to just, you know, register things. Bureaucracy type stuff. And if we go down this path, it leads back to the Munster where we were. There's some interesting art here. Art. So I seriously love old German architecture. The uh, new stuff, like you see here, is just so plain, boring. I imagine it's a lot cheaper to build, but I love when there's the old, all these details. Now these two buildings, um, I, they look a little Dutch influenced, from my experience being in Holland, big fan of that country. Um, they're absolutely gorgeous. They write little things on it around windows. You find all kinds of nice little details. I seriously love old German architecture. Coming up here is a one. Looks like like a pub like out of medieval times here. architecture is just cool. It's a local police station, but I like the details there above the door. That there's a Christmas market. That there's a Roman Catholic church built around the 1300s. I've seen fancier. We just
just never know who you're going to find hanging around at these places. Ah. Uh, ah. Uh. Can you believe people still throw money at this organization? So, yeah, I, I made this video not just because it gives me a good reason to get out of my house and go walk around and get some fresh air, but, uh, you know, I've lived in Germany now for something like 18 years, and uh, one of my favorite things about living here is the old architecture. Um, I'm not religious, but I do admire art, as I think a lot of you are starting to figure out if you're watching my videos. Um, and damn, some of these buildings, I can just uh, wander around them and stare at them for hours. Uh, one thing I'm not a big fan of is steps. They love steps in this country, let me tell you. I love them. If I didn't have vertigo, I'm not gonna lie, I would do the, the rocky run and jump here at the end. Oh, I can't believe this sunshine. I can't believe this luck with this beautiful day. I feel like I should go on, but... Eh, yeah, feeling slightly dizzy, kind of peaky, so my body's like, no, go home. Sweatpants time. So I thank you very, very much for clicking and watching. If you like it, let me know. There's a couple castles and such I want to investigate here in this neighborhood. And as I keep stating, I need to keep being physical and go out of the house. Which isn't easy when you just feel kind of pukey, dizzy, and maybe slightly depressed. Um, so, maybe I got any ideas? Are you just like looking at old buildings like I like looking at old buildings? Just let me know. If you liked the video, don't forget to click a like. And uh, subscribe, or else.